talk about capillary tests, okay? When you have to draw those mini pediatric tubes. Let me show you. Let's pretend that you have to draw a CVC and maybe a tibili on a baby. You always draw the lavender first. Like I use a warmer to activate this and just apply it where you want to poke. So you could either use this for a finger poke or this for a heel stick for babies. So this is for the finger poke. So the trick to get a good blood flow by pressure. Like don't be scared. Do it with pressure. I know it's scary. This is for the babies. You remove this. This is where you're gonna poke. Let's pretend this is the heel you press down. Let's pretend this is a baby. Obviously it's not a baby, but let's pretend. So babies have an area where you're not supposed to poke the heel, okay? So this is the best trick ever. So this is the heel. You put your thumb exactly there, okay? Where your thumb is, is where you're not supposed to poke. So this is how I learned to poke babies. I never remove my thumb from there. And I hold like this. It's flexible. I put my thumb right there. So this is a position of me to poke. And of course this is toilet paper, but I'm just pretending that this is alcohol. So I grab the alcohol. I wipe, wait for it to dry, okay? I am still holding right here. I'm still holding. So this is the area where you're not supposed to poke. So if you use this trick, you put your thumb right there this is the area where you can poke and this is how you do it remember this is where you poke let's pretend so i grab it like this i press down i'm holding the the heel i press down before i actually click and that's going to give you a good flow and once you do that you let go of the little foot I grab it like this and you wipe the first drop. I hold it like this. I hold the little heel like that down. Like this. Gently. But the drops should be huge because I did a great poke. And all you do is squeeze and then you get the drop and it falls in there. And then again big drops and then keep going and you will see that it is working and then keep going so before you're gonna poke you apply pressure i'm actually pressing down press down as much as you can before you i don't want to poke myself let's pretend this is the heel you press down before you go like that i hope that makes sense What's your order draw? This one, because you want a good flow. So poke very good with pressure. You will get a good flow. You always wipe the first drop. If you're done with that one, then you move on to your SST or your green top. Remember that you always have two pokes, okay? But if you're having trouble, you could always do a finger poke. So that's very good for you to know because there's a minimum. So you could use these for the chemistry test. And this one for the hematology test okay which is the cbc's and stuff like that so it's really good for you to know i always take that extra step so i always use a warmer and i poke with pressure i know i keep repeating that but i'm telling you until you you don't want to poke the patient twice okay because if you poke the surface no blood flow okay and you need blood up to the second line you see both sometimes so sometimes you need at least like 10 drops or more. And if you have a tiny little drop, your specimen either is gonna get hemolyzed or gonna get clotted. That means that it's gonna get rejected. You don't want that. But if it does happen, don't worry. It does happen. Very common, very common. So the first thing I do, you guys, is grab the hospital blanket. And so you grab the baby, you put it like that. You 
go like this. Actually, no. Sorry. You first leave this little pie out. You fold it like this. Okay, once you do that, you keep the little foot out of the way. And then you wrap the baby. So the little foot is out. You wrap the baby. The baby? The tighter you do it, but be, obviously be careful. The better because they love that. And I grab the head like this. I know it's crazy. Their little neck is so fragile. And I go like that. Da, 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 da. And the little foot is out. Right? So now you're ready to poke. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> the baby sometimes falls asleep when I poke them because I because they're already really snuggly. So when you poke a heel stick, there's a spot where you're not supposed to not even touch. Okay, you have to be very careful. So you put your thumb. Obviously, this is tiny, but this could work. You put your thumb exactly right there. 